game. He's 40 years old. Unbelievable right there. 35 to 14. Patriots take care of business. They'll be hosting the Jaguars next week. They picked mm. the Titans defense apart. We're talking in the commercial break. And what did you say, uh, Nathan, it would be the biggest test for both, right? It'll be the biggest test for Tom Brady going up against Jacksonville Jaguars. And it was it's going to be a big test for that Jaguars defense. But the Patriots, though, in the beginning of the game, like you said, Stray, got a little hairy and we're thinking, oh, here we go. Titans, they're going to make a game of this. And we see Marcus Mariota kind of will his team into victories over the last few weeks. But what happened is the Patriots, they were patient. And then they got into that no huddle offense. They weren't in a hurry and they weren't in a rush, but they were just methodically picking apart this defense. And it's the positionless guys, as my guy Boom likes to say, all these different individuals that are skilled players on that Patriots offense that can line up anywhere. You got Deion Lewis that can line up outside all the way down to the slot in the backfield and back on the other side of the field. And Gronk can run at tight end, a wide receiver in out of the backfield. And what that does is it puts the safeties, the linebackers, the corners in a position where they're constantly talking. At one point, I'm looking at the Titans defense and it seemed like they were still trying to communicate while the ball was being snapped. And Tom Brady was dropping back saying, I got you exactly where I want you. So for that reason, plays. <laughs> and, and, they, and they kept the foot down on the pedal. At one point, I'm thinking, you guys got the lead, all right? Just like KB said, just chill, chill out, out bro. Yeah. And Tom Brady's like, nah, we, Alabama just won. We need the BCS ranking. We're trying to be number one overall. It was unbelievable. Look, I've seen Mike Tomlin coach teams lose to Mike Glennon and the Buccaneers in Pittsburgh. I've sure. seen Mike Tomlin coach teams lose to Mike Glennon and the Bears up in Chicago. Yeah. I, the Jaguars beat the Steelers fair and square. Right. But to go into Foxborough and beat a Belichick coach team, it is a different beast. Mm. So as we look to this week, you see all these close games in the playoffs. I said on last week that I like the Titans. I think a good story, mm. but you know, I think the yeah. Patriots take care of this. At no point did they ever take their gas off the, the foot off the pedal. Mm. The Jaguars are in for a different type of game than the Steelers. Mm -hmm. The Belichick coach team is a different deal than the Steelers, who haven't been through the wreckage and haven't won those championships. Seven and four, Bill Belichick in the AFC Championship. The Jags have never won one. Mm. I, I'm just watching the game, and I just... I thought Brady and Belichick didn't get along anymore. You know, I thought there was the doctors right. not allowed on the plane, and the whole uh, the whole uh, empire court, is crumbling. Right. I'm sorry, they're going to fall apart, were right? Ever actually nervous? For no, a the Titans went up seven nothing. I'm like, it's cool. I mean, there, there were four, four games this weekend, and three of them were really good. Yeah. And the fact is, the Patriots, the most ridiculous thing I, I've ever said in the show, have been to seven straight title games. Ridiculous. Seven straight. straight, and they're here again. I like getting caught up in Jacksonville and all yeah. that stuff. It's a tall order there. It's a tall, tall order. Number two total defense, scoring defense. They could give them some trouble. It, yeah, yes, I hope they do. Because it's they're a, reckless, like you've been saying all They don't know any years. better. They believe they can, so that helps. It's a tall order, but it's been a tall order every single week, and they've been drinking mm -hmm. double shots all the way mm -hmm. up, until, up until this point. I will say this. If in the preseason I said to you, guys, ASU championship game, it's going to be Tom Brady mm -hmm. hosting Blake Bortles and Jackson Jaguars. Right. You say to me, Nate, you are out of your mind. I wouldn't watch that game if you gave me 20 options. Mm -hmm. I am excited for this game. More than any other game I've been all season. Blake Bortles, yes, Blake the Snake Bortles versus Tom Brady. The GOAT versus Tom Brady. I'm excited about this one. Didn't Bayard say they want to turn Tom Brady?